guys, what is up? It is Rosa and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got at the grab bag sale at Plato's Closet. My local Plato's Closet had a grab bag sale and I actually storied it on my Instagram. So if you guys ever want to see like live thrifts or thrift with me's via Instagram, I would definitely suggest checking me out there. It's under Briar Rose Style. Of course I do my thrift with me's here, but this was a grab bag sale and I really didn't want to take my camera out to film because it was just a madhouse. It was crazy. So so I just decided to do a haul instead of a thrift with me and then just do a little bit of a thrift with me on my Instagram. So go ahead and check it out. Also before we start this video, make sure to check out my travel channel. I am slowly growing it right now so I would appreciate your support. I have some Las Vegas vlogs up there right now that I would love for you guys to check out. I'm learning how to be creative because I feel like I need another creative outlet because I can never ever not work because I'm crazy. So anyways, I hope you guys can go ahead and check out my travel channel. I'll leave a link down below. Let's go ahead and get started with the first part of my haul because it's gonna be a two part series, girl. All right, so in total for this grab bag, um, this whole haul, I spent $77 because number one, I took some clothes with me to sell and I got $26 worth of credits from that. They didn't take too much, so the rest of it's actually going to thread up. And then I also had $10 store, store credit if I bought $30 worth of actual like non-sale stuff. So I did that with my graphic tees, which you will see in the next video. I got more graphic tees, so you guys should stay tuned for that. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you should totally do that because then you'll be able to see next week's video about what I got. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So each grab bag is worth $20. So again, like I said, I spent $77 in total, which is amazing because you guys know I'm in the Bay Area. I can never get anything cool unless there's like some sort of sale going on or I go to the bins. So, mm. all right. So the first item are a pair of these shoes. I thought they were super freaking cool. These are Madden Girl. They are so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. I just need to take the stickers off. But they are a size six and a half. But they are super freaking cute. And I think they're going to look so cute for somebody going to like a beach party or just a summer party in general. And I really, really like them. I think they're really adorable. And they have no scuffs, no nothing. I just need to kind of fix up the bottoms a little bit and they are good to go. So those are the first items I got at the grab bag sale. The next item I got, so it was a lot of grab bagging per usual. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys are a lot of 10 to $15 items just because they're super cheap. I picked up this Volcom shirt. It's just a t-shirt. Um, so where this Plato's Closet is located is a beach town. It's called Pacifica, California. And it's a beach town, so there's a lot of beachy surfer type area um, clothing there like Obey, Volcom, Rip Curl, like Hollister, just like a lot of beachy type wear. So you're going to see a lot of these kind of brands there. So it's just a really nice teal t-shirt that just says Volcom Stone on it. So that's that. Next, I found this, which was really strange. And the only reason I picked it up was for the, the actual brand. This is Club Monaco. I really love Club Monaco. I think it's a really nice brand. This, I'll need to see if I'm going to post this on Poshmark and on eBay or just on eBay. But it needs to definitely be steamed when I go ahead and photograph it. My steamer is kind of stupid right now. So I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to have time to steam it. I might just lay it out and hope that it like undoes itself. But it's just a size 2. It's a really cute white ruffle dress. I think it's perfect for beach time. So I picked that up. Next, I get a lot of these kind of brands at my stores because I live in California and these sell for me. So I picked up this California Republic t-shirt. It's really fun, super graphic, awesome. California stuff sell for me super fast. So I picked that up. And they are sold by, they are purchased by a lot of Californians, I would think. Next, I picked up this dress. You're going to see a pattern. I picked up a lot of Amber Crombie and Fitch as well as Hollister. And I picked up small sizes in those. Picked up this just really loungy kind of dress, magenta, very cute. Probably will sell, or sell around $10 to $15. The one thing I hate about these grab bag sales is they're just, is this a romper? 
no it's a dress it's a dress but like they never have really good stuff so it's gonna be a lot of just like random stuff to sell um so i don't know a lot of this will end up in Poshmark in my Poshmark closet this is a brand that I said I would never pick up again but for like 50 cents like I'll pick it up um, this is a kimchi blue extra small it's oversized though so I'm gonna put that in the title it's an oversized extra small I think blouse dress I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is but it's really freaking cute and then it has like these buttons on the side which I didn't realize they were on the side I thought they were in the front but really cute it's just very um, flowy a lot of the stuff I got was for the summertime so hopefully these will sell in the next three months that would be great so next I got some jeans these are size 24 sexy boyfriend as you can tell very small sizes in their in their clearance section I'm just gonna tell you now um, these are sexy boyfriend boyfriend jeans are very popular so I just picked up a pair of jeans I didn't pick up too many pairs of jeans because I wasn't really feeling any of the jeans but gap jeans sell for me so I'll pick them up these are size 24 Next, I did pick up a Gap sweater. This was new with tags. That's why I picked it up. It's a size small Gap new with tags. Very soft, cream kind of bell sleeve sweater. Definitely not for the summertime, but works for if you work in an office. Next, we have Uniqlo. I don't pick up like any of these brands I really don't pick up in the normal stores but like since it's grab bag like I just picked them up so I feel like I'm gonna keep saying I don't normally pick this up so I'm just gonna cut cut, cut, cut that out so this is Uniqlo size small just a sky blue top nothing crazy it's kind of just a casual dress shirt all right the next item I picked up was another kimchi blue I'm very shooketh another kimchi blue but this is so cute it's very like lightweight super cute girly has these lace cutouts on the side here i feel like a lot of this stuff is very lanky so i'm gonna have to use my mannequin to show them but it's a size small just a really cute kind of summer dress next i picked this dress up this is a cynthia rally size small it's just this bright blue skater dress it has a really cute nautical feel to it so i picked this up as well it's more of a thicker material but i thought it was really cute so i picked that up and the last item in this bag is is again something i wouldn't pick up but again i probably paid 50 cents for it probably not like a dollar for it and this is a new with tags bb if you guys don't know bb closed their retail stores but these are some brown leather pants all right guys so that is everything that was in the first grab bag now let's go into the second grab bag the first thing you might have recognized from last week because i used it as my example of how i research whether to sell on poshmark and ebay and this is a lauren conrad extra small top there is some makeup in the front of it so i do need to try and wash it out first before i list it but it's a really cute lace top so that is something that i purchased i'll actually put that on the side because i'm gonna have to wash that Next is an Oakley. Again, Oakley is part of that kind of, I think, skater, surfer thing. V-neck t-shirt. This just says Oakley on it with palm trees in the background. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a size extra small. It looks like they had a lot of extra small in their grab bag sale. Next is this really cute gold dress. This is by the brand Caitlyn. I've never heard of this brand before. Caitlyn, but it's a super cute gold metallic dress. I think it's better for New Year's, but a lot of people select to wear gold during the summer because it glistens in the sun and it makes you look tan. And I really like it. So I picked this guy up. It's a bodycon dress. I have, I wanted to put some more dresses into my posh closet because I don't really have too many. Next is another Volcom, I think. This is, yeah, may, uh, size medium. It's just like a long tunic sweater. Nothing crazy. A gray long tunic sweater. If you are a um, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff, maybe you'll like this because it has purple and yellow in it. Or maybe that's more Hufflepuff colors. But yeah, just a basic Volcom hoodie. Next is another dress that I don't remember, but it is what it is, girl. This is, bro, this is from Boohoo. This is a size US 6, so it's a little bit of a bigger size, which is nice, because I've been noticing only freaking extra smalls. But it's just this really cute, um, airy type of dress, and the back is super cute. So this is definitely going to go on the mannequin as well. A lot of these are going to be going on the mannequin, because I don't think they'll look good on the hanger. Next 
is a fun summer color. It's coming up not as neon, but this is neon highlighter. Like it, look at that. It like reflects off my face. This is an interesting one because I did not know that J. Crew came out with like this bright of a situation. This is J. Crew Collection size zero. Again, size zero, but alas, there are girls that are size zero and dudes that are size zero that could fit this. But it's just beautiful lace dress that's neon, basically. And this is from the year, let's see what year this is because maybe it'll let us know. This is a couple years old. This is from 2014, but still pretty good. Um, this lace detail, by the way, is very popular. My bachelorette dress is exactly this design, but in white. I got it from Amazon though, not J. Crew. All right, next is a Nike sweater. This is um, an older Nike label, but it's just purple and teal. It's kind of thick, but it's still really nice. It has like the older Nike labels on it, so I think it'll do better on eBay, but I will post it on both Posh and eBay because it's a really cool color. But again, I'll probably use my method that I used in my video from last week. Next, next is an Express shirt. This is just a cool like a long sleeve tee sweater. It just has a picture of some sort of a cat on it. I'm not sure which it would be, but maybe a tiger, leopard, not sure, but it's just gray, really, really cute. Next, I fell in love with this. You guys know I love rose gold. My engagement ring is rose gold. This is more of a metallic pink, but a lot of people think this is like rose gold, but it's really freaking not. Um, this is by the brand Material Girl Active. And it's one of their active brands and it's just this rose gold pink metallic bomber jacket. The shit is so freaking cool. Like I wish, is it my size? It's extra small, but it's oversized. So a lot of these extra smalls are oversized. I feel like this could fit me, but it's super cute and it's fuzzy inside. So whoever buys this literally is so lucky because I freaking love this jacket. It's super cute. Next we have some... Nike Combat shorts. I love to um, sell these as well. This is a size, uh, let's see, size large. These are men's, and I'm pretty sure you can tell why I think it's men's. But they're just bike shorts. I sell these mostly on eBay, but I'll probably be putting it on Poshmark as well because they are Nike. Next, I'm kind of obsessed with this. I think this is super cute. This is by the brand, it has someone's name on it, which is annoying, but a lot of this stuff has names on it because kids lose everything. This is a Hollister extra small, small, kind of like a beach cover-up slash cardigan sweater. There's nothing really too much to see. I'm going to try to show you this way, I guess. It has just this beautiful like Nordic kind of uh, fair isle kind of design. Not too fair isle, but a little bit fair isle. Very, very cute. We'll be going on Posh and eBay. Next, I have something white. What are you? This is ASOS, I think. Yeah, picked up ASOS. This is a US size 00, but it's just like this um, tank top slash sleeveless bell sleeve, poof sleeve shirt. Really freaking cute. If I could, if I could fit this, look how tan I would somewhat look against this pure white top. Next, I have something else white. This is Super Dry, I believe. Super Dry is a pretty trendy brand. This is just a regular top. It's lace. It has a really cool lace pattern to it. Nothing really to it, but it is by the brand Super Dry, which I heard, I think it's like a streetwear brand. I'm pretty sure. Again, I have to look that chisnit up because I don't know. Next is one of these tops. I feel like these are so popular. These are, this is by the brand Bobo. And this is sold at Nordstrom. I know that because I worked, I worked at Nordstrom. Super freaking soft. It has that ruffle kind of career style bottom and this is the brand it's so freaking soft so i'm gonna see how this does on poshmark as well because i hear of resellers picking this up i just never did because it was a nordstrom brand and i had i hate a lot of nordstrom brands because i used to work there and that is actually everything for this video so if you guys are ever interested in any of my stuff you can go ahead and dm me on instagram or you can send me an offer on poshmark and i'll probably accept it because i give my youtube friends a lot of discounts 
So not like crazy discount, but like a good discount, you know what I mean? So if you guys are interested in any of these items, make sure to let me know. I will tag you when they are up. Also, real quick, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, make sure to check out my travel channel. I'll leave it down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch family where we have fun here all the time. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye. Yo, what's up? I'm the mad hatter. I'll pour you tea, please don't let it spread her. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the mad hatter. <laughs>